video I'm going to show you how to make a GIF. Uh, I'm starting with a flattened PSD but if your PSD has all of your layers still um, what you're going to do as your first step is you're going to right click on any one of your layers and you're going to go to merge layers or even flatten the image. Um, and that should bring you to a single layer with all of your uh, six frames on that one layer. All right, so to start off after that, you are going to click on the rectangular marquee tool. That's not the same thing as your rectangle tool. The rectangular marquee tool is your, your rectangular selection tool. Uh, and you're going to click and drag down to encompass your first frame. And hit Control C to copy it, or you can go to Edit and copy here either way. After that I'm going to start a new file and what I want to do is I want to instead of having them in a comic strip format I want to stack them up um, so that they're all the same size because in a GIF you know in, in animated GIF you don't have you know the animation in different sections it's each frame is overlapping the last frame. So we're going to go to file new and in Photoshop I have this cool option of the clipboard it automatically detects that I have something copied and will make a new document the size of my clipboard, which is where uh, it, it copies that image to temporarily. Uh, if you're using, if you don't have the clipboard option for whatever reason, maybe you're using Photopea, um, just use a width of about 600 by 500 and you should be fine. And then hit create. So it brings me to a small canvas here. And then I'm going to copy, or I'm going to paste it, Command V, Control V, sorry I'm on a Mac. Uh, or edit and then paste. So you can see that I have my background layer and then my new layer uh, from the source image. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm just going to rinse and repeat five more times. Go in here, copy it. I'm not going to be particularly uh, neat about it. And then again, and honestly you don't have to redraw it every time. Once I have my selection on, as long as I have one of my selection tools here, or at least my rectangular marquee tool, I can click and I can drag that same one over. It's not going to be quite the same size. So you might want to, let's just say I, I didn't I didn't make it perfect. You might want to just redraw it. Uh, good enough. I'm going to copy it and paste it. And let's get through this real fast. If I can. Copy. Paste. And the last one. Oh, that's bad. Let's try that again. The perils of using a touchpad. Good enough. Copy it and paste it. So what I'm going to do, what's going to happen is I'm going to end up with uh, a bunch of layers. I should have, if you have followed along, you're going to have seven layers. Uh, I'm going to change that to six by deleting my background layer. I don't need that blank layer. So I'm going to hit the trash can icon. So all I have are my six layers made from my six comic strips. All right, so now at this point, I'm going to go to Window. I'm going to open a new panel, probably one that you haven't seen before, the Timeline panel. When I do that, it's going to appear down here at the bottom. Now, this part can get confusing. Uh, so what I want you to do is it will probably say Create Video Timeline here. You're going to click on the arrow first and change to Create Frame Animation. And then I'm going to click on that where it says Create Frame, frame Animation. It is a button. This part, like a lot of people get tripped up here or get stuck here because it, you know, nothing is appearing. But you have to click on this as a button and it will start to create your animation. All right, so there's two options that I need um, to go into. So if I look in the top right of my timeline panel, I see my menu icon. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to create new layer for each new frame. And then I'm going to click on it again. And I'm going to go to fr make frames from layers. And that automatically creates a frame for each of my layers. That's awesome. All right, so you can see um, there are oops, there are a few options here at the bottom. Um, you know, your standard play and 
uh, and reverse and, and fast forward options. Um, you can also see underneath each frame, it, it tells me how long each one is going to be displayed for. So in this case, it's telling me that it's not going to pause at all on each of these frames. So if I was to play, it's gonna go really fast, which I don't think I want. So I'm gonna stop that. And I can change each one of these individually by clicking on it and changing the time, or I can hold shift. I can click on the first one, hold shift, and then click on the last one to highlight all of them. And when I change the time on one of them, it will change the time on all of them. So they're all 0.2 seconds now. And if I hit play, you can see it goes a little bit slower. All right, um, you can click and you can drag and you can rearrange them if you need to but I think that this is good. So to finish it up, I'm gonna to go to File, and I'm gonna to go to, uh, where is it? Export, and then Save for Web Legacy. I wanna make sure that GIF is selected here, and for the most part, everything else should be the same. Like we learned, remember, GIF can only is only capable of 256 colors. So you can see I have 256 different shades of black, white, and gray in here, uh, and that's what it'll limit it to. Everything else looks good enough to me. I'm going to hit save. The bell's about to ring. Name it whatever you like. Whatever you like. And hit save again. And that's it. You did it.